G'day guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, the first game day vlog in a little bit. It's been uh, yeah, a couple of weeks since I've done a game day vlog. I can't remember the last one, might have been Freo Melbourne where we got up. Um, I couldn't go to the Carlton D's game, uh, which we got up to, so I missed that one. Absolute thriller at the G, but I'm off to see the D's take on the Western Bulldogs. At Marvel, first time I've been to Marvel this year. Um, I did go to AFLX, but it might have just been Marvel for like a week then. I don't know, I can't remember, but um, yeah, gonna go check it out and um, hopefully the D's get up. Cookson pulled out on me, so I'm by myself. I'm gonna sit up the back, tuck into some pies and chips, but um, uh, hopefully we can get up. Go D's. <laughs> Everyone who knows me knows I'm an MCG over Marvel sort of bloke, but impressing me today, Marvel, it's freezing cold outside and we're under the roof, so that's a tick. And also, the chips at Marvel have the chicken salt option. Almost certainly MCG's default's just the chicken salt, but just to have the option's unbelievable. So I've whacked that much chicken salt on my chips, about to munch in. They're all out having a bit of a warm up. Nearly game time. Come on, D's. A must needed four points. Get a bit of momentum. Get our tails up. Have a good last half of the year. Kyle Dunkley in his second game is versus his brother Josh. The dogs came off a massive win last week against the Catters, so they're in seething hot form. Can the D's produce an upset? I'm feeling it. I'm tipping the D's by 32 points. Go hard or go home. I may as well. Um, yeah, hopefully the D's can get over the line. Wouldn't that make my cold, wet, rainy day even a little bit more better? Come on, Dees. The track is going to go down to full forward. He's going to kick five today. Big Prusy and Harrison Petty down forward as well. The hero from last week, Jaden Hunt, to kick the first goal of the day. Come on, Hunty. Great kick, great strike. I don't mind Tim English as a ruckman, but he's up against Gorney and Big Prusy today. So it's gonna be a big test for the, uh, the the young fella. Gorney just got him uh, a little bit too easy in that contest. Getting manhandled, Tim English. Let's see what he can do here. Gorney's just been feeding the D's mids. Have the contest, Tim. Have it, mate. The bond disposed of Salem in the marking contest. And then forgot he was there, turned around, tried to kick a goal from the goal square and Salem's caught him. So, geez, chance has gone begging at both ends here. The big shack attack lining up to extend the dog's lead. <laughs> Louis with the quick reply. Uh, yeah, it's a weird one. Like, we got such a young stacked midfield, but Jordan Lewis running through the middle the last few weeks is... He's been good. He's been in good form. Maybe hanging him off a half back line doesn't help. So, bit of experience. Good little soccer. The track lining up for one of his five. I predict him to kick today. Come on. It's to reduce it to a point. Chrissy Petrarca. Yes! Go, James. Quarter time here at Marvel. What are your thoughts, Cookson? No, he's not here. Um, yeah, so we're trailing by a point. Look, it's not the prettiest of standard by the Ds, but that's been all year. I don't know, you know, I'm not coming to expect anything too special, but the dogs, their skills are clean. Um, yeah, just a couple of dirty, like real hustler type goals for us. A nice snag off the ground by Geordie Lewis, and I don't know, to keep us in it, it's good, because the dogs are a good team and they're playing some good footy, so we're hanging on. We're down by a point. Hopefully we can bring something for the last three quarters. Here we go, second term about to start. Chucked up on Twitter earlier this week. Potentially one of the best back lines in the comp, all fit and firing. Nev, Jetta, May, Hibbard, Lever, add Marty Hoare, and uh, a bit of frost ball, and it's potentially, it's up there. It's definitely up there. Lloyd kicks one of the cheapy of cheapies. Um, up I blew the whistle. Ball seemed to run close to the out of bounds, but he somehow kept it in, and he's run in taking the advantage. I don't really understand how that's advantage. Everyone's stopped, but uh, well, uh, the dogs get the first and the second. Jeez, Christian Salem on the last line of defence is so handy. If it's him or Neville Jetta in a one-on-one -on -one deep inside defensive 50, you just back him every day of the week. Harrison the Goat Petty. 
Lining up. He'll come around for the start for his first career goal, potentially. He's kicked it. Oh, the swingman. Harrison Petty, you are a star. Reduce the doggies' lead to seven. Had a bit of control in this term, in this second term, the D's. Arms, he's missed a chance. Petty kicked one. Can Dunkley continue the momentum and square it up against his brother? Yes! Go, Jeez! Jeez, I don't know the clearance stats because their midfield's as good as any other, but, um, geez, the Proust Gorn combo is doing bits and pieces. That was an absolute feather backhander by the, by the Proust man. Great clearance to the Ds. And then Hunty lowered the eyes and has hit up the goat. It was goat, Mac. But now it's the goat pet. Harrison Petty for two. Kick it, son. Surely not. Harrison Petty, you're kidding me. We take a one-point lead in this second term. We have been up and about this uh, this whole quarter. Really good lowering of the eyes of Hunty. He almost blazed away on the right foot. Finally, good bit of decision making inside 50. Josh Dunkley's gone up in the ruck and got one of the softer rucking infringements you'll ever see. Corny put his hand out to keep the space, won the tap out, and uh, it was blocking. But, oh well, Dunkley to capitalize off one of the cheaper decisions. Half time here at Marvel and we trail by a point on top of all that second term. That decision against Maxi Gorn was mind boggling. Um, I can see how it looked like almost like a tunneling or a, a shepherd off. Like if that was a marking contest and he shepherded him out like that, you can understand. But when it was a ruck contest, it was just the bigger man. Just big Gorny on Josh Dunkley. He was too big for him. And yeah, I think that was the wrong decision. But oh well, they got to go and got back in front. We trailed by a point. Petrarch has been massive. Harrison Goat Petty, would you believe, kicked two. Uh, a little bit of optimism going into this last half, but the third quarter will be telling because we seem to drop off in second half. So we've given ourselves every opportunity and uh, now it's up to us, I guess. Shaki lining up. They peppered us all quarter. For 12 minutes of this quarter, it's been all Bulldogs and they've missed again. All Bulldogs at the start of this third term, but they only lead by six points. Harrison, the GOAT, Petty, you are seriously taking the piss. I think in previous vlogs I've said, you know, he had one game last year maybe against St Kilda and got absolutely bathed by Josh Battle. Since then, whenever he comes into the side as a backman, he plays all right. And I've been getting around him a little bit. Hey, come on, Petty. That's his third. Harrison who? Harrison bloody GOAT, Petty. For 15 minutes and 25 seconds, the dogs have peppered the behinds. They have absolutely dominated the start of this third, not taking their opportunities. It goes down the other end and Petty of all people snags on. Harrison Petty up one end, Rourke Smith down the other. Just two absolute guns battling it out for the Coleman. Oh, it's a shootout here at Marvel. Bonds missed one. Can the fritter reduce it again? Oh, it's going to be tight. Oh, you're kidding me! Three quarter time and we've just had to grit our teeth for 30 minutes. I don't know how many scoring shots they had, but they just blazed away the dogs. There was no care in their attack at goal. But we're holding on. We're down by a goal to the doggies. Six points in it. Um, we missed our chances as well. There was a couple that we probably should have finished, but down by six, one quarter to go. It's just going to yeah, imagine it'll come down to the wire. Can we bring it home? Come on, D's. Bailey Fritch kicks the first of the last. Our key forwards, Bailey Fritch and Harrison Petty, have stood up all day. We've just gritted our way to still be in it in this last quarter, so hopefully we can just keep grinding and, I don't know, unbelievable scenes. Come on, D's. Old super Duke Norton to answer Fritter's goal. He's a bit wayward, but who's there? Gordy! Yes, Maxi. Petrarca to give us a one straight lead, one straight kick lead. His form and the back half of this year has been very good. Come on, track. Come on. Looks good off the bridge. Just missed. 
Archie Dunk. After Matraka missed, he's kicked it. Lucky Hunter to give the doggies a 10 point lead. Early in the last, the banana. Baz Smith just kicks one there, up by 16, the doggies. It's probably game. 18 minutes into the last. Frustrating. Without a forward line, we've been leaving it up to the back when to kick him. So Stevie May, in this last term, floated forward. It's usually a beautiful kick of the ball, Stevie May. And he's absolutely punted that one. Alright guys, I'm going to leave the vlog there. I'm in the dark here in the car. Um, oh, we need a bit of light, don't we? Um, yeah, another disappointing result. It's been an absolute shit house season. So frustrating to come and watch. I felt like we gritted it out for three quarters, but couldn't quite get over the line there. Missed a few opportunities, but then again, so did the doggies boys. But um, I'm freezing the tits off, so I am going to absolutely speed this car down the highway and uh, get home and... Just getting to my bed and probably cry myself to sleep for the 54th time this year. But um, I'm going to leave that vlog there. I appreciate everyone who watched. I appreciate all the support. And I will see you guys very, very soon. Cheers.